I, and that's the paras. Oh, has the parasite gained power and got me that thing just from that uh, encounter we had before? Because it didn't give me that psionic heal before. I'm sure I didn't select that one. You were going to do something with this, weren't you? You were going to speak to the dead. And then we put Mr. The Step back on. regards you lifelessly. Who are you? Zagrim, conjurer, seeker. Hex. What was your business here? Glory. Hmm. We search for the adamantine forge. Who were the others? Filro, Dorn, each held knowledge, none would share. We haven't met Filro yet. And um, what was your knowledge of the forge? Secret to its operation book, disguised. By magic. And how did you die? Battle with rival. Hmm. Summoned spectator. The spell's power. Okay. Wins. You can ask no more. Questions. That suggests that the last one that we meet might be able to summon a spectator. Dorn too was looking to find it. The first one it's died. Alive. I was so petrified by a spectator. I bet that'll fit my pack. Let's just check his stuff. Has he got a magic book in here? Send that to Astarian. Cash. Icy metal. This looks like the part for a staff. Oh, hang on. We have we have another part for that. Okay, let's take a look at this. Toxins, Starion, basic poison, Starion, and a flump mating rituals, which we're pretty sure isn't. Uh, the drow. Can I read it? Okay. The cover proudly announces this book to be flump mating rituals. If the drow's corpse is to be believed, it's something else entirely. Does it come with pictures? Investigation. It's full of illusion. Okay. I've got a D6 on this as well. This should be quite easy. Strain as you might, Anything you else? find nothing but an overly detailed description of the flump's reproductive process. Put it away. So what we'll do is we'll send it to uh, send it to Gale and let him read it. I think we all get chance, so I think we're okay. Wasn't there something else that I just picked up from there that I was going to look at? There's too many things going on at once, which is the problem. Oh, I'll have a look at the powers. The repulsor. Oh, that's not yet trained. Displace, force tunnel. Yeah, okay. We want to have a look at the alchemy. We'll extract that. Do we get some more potions? Can we not make the potion of giant strength yet? Or the elixir? The elixir? Bloodlust, bark skin, the colossus. I haven't yet drunk the colossus. We should see what it is. Anyway, we'll leave those for now. Kiss of death saying that. It always is, isn't it? Let's see if Gail he can read it. I think he gets a chance. Yes, we do. Good. If the drow's corpse is to be believed, something else Same difficulty. Entirely. He gets um, some nice stuff on this. So we should be good. Come on. That's better. The scrutiny proves too much. The lurid text melts away before your eyes. An illusion. 
What remains are simple instructions written in a spare hand. The secret to forging adamantine. As long as we know, that's good enough for me. Although the Sharons dwelled the gnome... Among the Sharons dwelled the gnome Siluviali, whose talents for wizardry were known from Candlekeep to Sorcerer. Under his tutelage, the Sharons built the Great Ford. I keep reading it as Karens. I want to say the Karens built the Great Ford. That's my kid's influence on me. Yet the jewel of Yali's eye was not the forge itself, but the protector he conjured from the magma to guard it. A construct said to be so mighty that no blade could fell it and no spell could pierce it. So we've got instructions on how to operate it. Raw mithril ore in a proper mold. Place the ore and mold into their respective chambers. Pull the lever to lower the hammer and prepare the ore for smelting. Open the valve to allow lava into the crucible and drop the hammer again to forge the product. But at least we know how to use it. I'm sure that'll come in very, very handy. Let's start from left to right. Also, let me open this window again. Now our our friend in the jet aircraft has gone over. I need a little bit of air in here because it's rather hot today and with two PCs and some lights on, um, it's quite warm in this, this little room. A scroll of false life. What's it do, actually? Gain seven temporary hit points. I'll send that to Shadowheart. And a scroll of hold person. That's on to... Oh, we're on Gale here, aren't we? And some wine. No time to rest. Right, let's start getting the crap. And then... When it's down to this... Oh, the down to... We're not down to scrolls already, surely. Scroll of blindness. And Ray of Sickness. And this Shadow of Menzo Baranzan. What is this? Uh, you see the shadows and envelop this... Oh, okay. This, this might be really nice. Become invisible for two turns. Uh, it's back on a short rest. That is good. That is good for Gale, but he's got his Scorching Ray. I think this is an Astarian piece of kit here what a day. he's wearing something with extra intelligence I I think this is probably better where is it it's light armor so we can use it it also kind of looks the part on him as well and he now has the ability to turn invisible Yeah, that, that could be super useful. Let me pull these out the way over here. Guidance, firebolt, and bite. Bite is very good. No one back home will is the UK getting a heat this. wave again this year? Here in the Midwest, the heat index is getting to 45. That's quite brutal. Um, we, I think it's supposed to warm up. We had like a really rubbish July and August. It was like, uh, it was worse than a below average year. It was, I don't know how to describe it. It was just so wet and it came cold. So I think it's supposed to get better over here. But uh, I don't think we're going to see temperature. Well, we won't see temperatures like that. But um, I don't know whether I'd say it's a heat wave coming, but I hope something's going to improve for the, the last part of summer. Kind of sad if it doesn't. Right, I think we're done in this bit. So we've got a nice Very hood. Well. Not quite what I wanted, but um, it'll do. And I don't think I've explored... Fleshwalker. Oh, hello. Tongue talker. Far you've come. Reach into memory. Tell me of home. Why? Uh, fill your heart with memories of your most treasured places. Envision the banks of the... Chionthar, green and fertile. Imagine the bustle of the city's marketplace, the wide. Bring to mind your oath, an outstretched hand, a promise kept. I'll go with the Oath of Devotion story. It reveals its own home in reply. A humid cove filled with decaying myconid corpses. 
That's not nice. Unless it's... Destroyed my people. Ah. I am a sovereign with no circle. This circle does not welcome me. But I have heard the song. You mean to cleanse the Dwergar rot. I mean to join you. Sure. Uh, the Dwergar are already dead. I must see it for myself. Lead me to the rot. I wish to see it fester. Um, I'm not traveling with some overgrown mushroom. Oh, it's, I like this. I like the reply specific to your background and your class. For you to still fight for this circle is admirable. We go together. Remain in the Underdark, and I will follow. We cleanse the rot together. We've got a vengeful mushroom as a party member. That's really nice. You can directly control their movement and actions. Click a follower's portrait to take control of them. I I like that. Okay, that's good. So, uh, let's have a look. This looks like a way out. Is there anything we haven't explored? There's a bit down to the right. Oh, and there's a branch off. We go back. There's a branch off up here I think we need to have a look at. That dwarf woman in the blue sh Oh, yes, I haven't been to see the dwarf trader. Thanks, Rage Base. We'll head back over there. This leads to... Something over there. But have I been over there? It's... It's explored, so I'm going to guess yes. Back to the trader, then. Where's she gone? It was... It was here. Anything to pick up? There's a torch... Yeah, I have to be so careful. I, I feel like I'm probably going to misclick at some point. Direct me. You talking to animals? Let's have a chat with uh, Deep Roth. At once. Want Master back. He treats me good now. Doesn't kick me anymore. Okay. At least things have stayed interesting. Oh, I remember this story from the early access. Her, her partner, I think, has gone off looking for mushrooms somewhere. Seems the shrooms are letting in more people every day. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Dwarf. Balin's his name. Don't know him. Uh, can you describe him? Bald. Blue tunic. Dumb as a stick. Haven't seen him. Right. Never mind. Who is he? Oh, need some help finding him? Knock yourself out. But don't come begging for coin if you find him. You <laughs> try to ransom him to me, you'll find yourself skint and stuck with a fat old lout. <laughs> You're really selling this to us. Who is he to you? My useless husband. Sent him for an errand. It's no surprise he's made a mess of it. Okay, so we're just looking for a guy who can do a bit of trading. Uh, we've got a helmet to sell. Let's let's sell. Let's sell the water things. We're not going to miss them. These look like um, the handle of what once has been a staff. And this is a hole in the bottom of this chunky piece of iron where it was clearly screwed into something. Could it be off a pommel? Could it have been anything to do with a staff? Uh, I don't know. Do you have anything? Oh, now she's got some healing stuff. Ah, all right, let's cash this in. And we will wander off, I think. I don't think there's anything else I'm seeing here that looks particularly good. Dexterity saving throws and checks. A corrosive flail. There might be some stuff here. We've just sold those. The amulet of restoration. She, she might find something here of use. That gives me Ray of Fear and Wounding Ray. Would you rather have 
healing word and mass healing word. She is the healer for free. We're always having to stop because we have to heal. I'm actually going to buy this, you know. This doesn't do anything else, does it? Those are quite good spells. I'm swapping it for a level 1 and a level 3. I don't even know how often these refresh, by the way. Long rest, long rest. Bonus actions. Yeah, but they're bonus actions, which is the key thing. Whereas those are full actions. Okay, I'm, I'm prepared to do this. We can sell that as well. Uh, we are going to sell that because we have no use for it. And the other thing was this. So this is a corrosive flail. It's a, it's a plus one to hit, which is going to be essential. Once per short rest, you can ensnare. See, I like the ensnare. And this is just a plus one fl flail, I think. But it is more damage, potentially. Nah, I'll find something to replace that. Okay. Uh, she's got that. Let's drop it on her. We need a cloak. Nobody's selling cloaks at the moment. Longbow plus one. Heavy crossbow plus one. And leave. One more drow you can find in the Underdark that will have the last piece for that um, staff. Cool. We'll go looking for him. Right, we need to find a direction to head out to. Um, there's the, there is the beach. I feel like there's more to explore over there. There is something over there that we maybe haven't fully seen. Oh, hang on. There's a path going off here. Find the mushroom picker. Well, I, it's, it's strange when she says, go on. We don't know where this guy is. Go look for him. But then says he's directly over there. <laughs> we know exactly where he is. I'll put a marker on your map. But I guess she means he's, she's in this area, in this mushroom field area. So I would like to go here, I think. Back where the stealable stuff is. I think we've done some good work there, actually. We will venture back to the beach as well shortly. Oh, is this some more of these blooms and trees? Can I get anything off it? It's not this susser bark, is it? No. I think that's over on the other side of the lake. The tree with the bark I need for making the weapon. A deep hole. Into the hole, you see only darkness. Um, save. It's impossible to tell how deep it goes by sight alone. Hello. Your call echoes as it plunges downward, before gradually fading away. Nothing suspicious about a skeleton on the the uh, top of it at all. I'm guessing it's come through here. Dread Hollow. Look scary. Um, let me just stand back a bit because these look like they're about to blow up. A bibber bang. Yep. Shoot all these. There's one of those um, susser blooms. Better watch out for that in case I need to cast spells around it. Right, kill all the horrible things. And then we wait. Or do we? Do we wait? Do we set the whole thing on fire? I'm going to wait a moment. See if that clears naturally. Hey, Pan. Try throwing some junk in it. What, down the hole? That's not a bad idea, actually. Let's just set fire to this. Oh, there's one left.
Why did that not just instantly ignite because of the fire? Okay, that could have been me sat in there. We shall return in a moment. What can I throw down the hole? Someone must have some rubbish on them. I've tended to like get rid of like the, the nasty rubbish. There must be something that's... I could throw a torch. Well, I'll tell you what, let's drop it. And then... Throw it. Whee! Did you hear the noise? I think the torch is maybe still on the top. Looking into the hole, you see only darkness. Leave. Okay. I think whatever day, was in there came out and went over here. I put a starion in. <laughs> I don't know they'll fit in. I could try throwing them in. Am I being a Todd again, blowing stuff up? Uh, well, I'm making sure me. things blow up before I walk into the area, which is the generally accepted better way to do it. I need to get across here somehow. Does it look like the path maybe goes down? Possibly. Not sure about this. Oh, what is this thing? This is a hook horror. Someone was talking about... Oh, there's, there's some over here. What if I retreat? And are they melee things? They look like melee things. So let me see if I can get up the top here. Boom, sneaky shot. Right, that's starting to hit things quite hard now. That's quite nice. Uh, not much more I can do. There's something making horrible noises. We hide. You, cast invisible. What's all this stuff? Just stuff on the floor. I think... I mean, I'm not going to go charging in, but I will shoot him twice. Yep, let's do it again. What are you doing? Why did he run in for the second shot? Why was that a thing? I need to find a way forward. Let's finish this. Bring her forwards. And she could shoot as well, or I could try blasting stuff off. Did we get the resistances? None. Oh, they don't have great either intellect or wisdom saves, so that is good to know. Let me recite their demise. <laughs> Starion will fit in, but his ego won't. I, I could throw him in. It would be rather rude of me, but I could. Uh, I think this guy's going down. I don't want to waste any spell slots if I don't have to. Shall I go for the free Scorching Ray? I have a feeling something big and nasty is coming, so I'm going to save that. Miss. And um, turn. What can you do? A multi-attack? An animating spores? Oh, I can reanimate it as a spore seven and you're nice so you can like raise dead on stuff I like that brilliant it's dashing so it can't attack me it's going to regret being in the middle of me there especially if I just push it off the edge but pretty sure we can take this thing down now this is once per short rest. I mean, I've done half of its health in a turn, so we're not going to need this, are we? Miss this. Uh, sure. Whoops. 
could bite it. I don't want to bite it. I need to bite a humanoid. Yeah, this thing's going down. It's going to be a piece of cake. You just finished your turn there. Um, you need to come back up here and clonk it one. Don't react. Nice. That was an easy kill. I like that. Nice clean kill. No damage. Here's a potentially unpleasant thought. That bottomless hole might start pouring these death roaches like an anthill. Don't say that. Because that is a, an extremely unpleasant thought. With haste. So there's one up there. If I come across here and shoot him. What do I have to lose? Oh, okay. Don't react. I hit him. Brilliant. I'm just going to bring him down. Actually, it didn't start combat because I was somehow in stealth. Don't want to draw any attention. In fact, let's just go to group mode hide. Now I can't see him anymore because that's broken. Maybe if I sneak across from this... Oh, God. That's game. This camera. How can I do this? can't I can I can swivel it I'm gonna have to go up there to fight him that's oh god this this is the only thing I can really find fault with with the game it's um it's crazy but the cameras are moving around different levels Light on my feet. it is very odd do I have group hide group hide I mean, I kind of want to explore down here a bit as well, but... Uh, is that him? Right, so this is our situation. Shoot it! And when he opens the battle, I think he gets to go again straight away. Yeah, because the rest aren't actually in the battle yet. He's joined the battle. Gale's about to join the battle. Shovel, loot, loss. Um, is there a, is there something we need a shovel for down here? Oh, shovel, shovel this guy. Oh, you had me lost there, Catherine. I wonder what you're on about. Let's bring everyone in. Guy's nearly dead. It's fantastic. Shall we cut and run? Must have advantage. Hang on, say that again. Do I not have advantage? I will now. If I hide, I will. I missed. <laughs> That's not fair. Save your spells. Everyone save your spells. Oh, you get another go. Eric doing good work with the crossbow for once. He... Cold reinforcements. Wow! That was some epic, legendary jump. And who the hell is this? Phil Rowe the Forgotten. We needed to find him, so this has worked out super good super well for us as it turns out are you currently hidden time for a new approach how many more of these things are there there's oh there's a guy up there right he could be a problem that thing won't be so i'm going to go with this do you know what else i'm going to do because he's on a branch where's my thunder arrow Boom. Come on, let's see this. Oh, no. No. I needed that. Oh, that's not fair. Um, oh, crap. I kind of needed that. He's gone. For good. Forever. 
Where was my last save? 15.39. It was four minutes ago. We're loading that in. The idea was perfect. You can't deny that. I didn't know there was a, there was a gaping chasm just on the other side of that thing. That's rough. That's unfair, is that? That's what that is. The game just trolling me completely. However, if we meet him again, I can angle myself in such a way, I think, that I still knock him off there, but he doesn't go into the, the gaping chasm. Having said that, this, this situation might not work out like this again, so let's uh, let's go down. Let's go down in group stealth. These boots have seen everything. Can I actually shoot him from there? Can I? Can I? No. Cameras. Cameras might be able to. Wrong one. Hope your soul is in good hands. Don't react. Are we in combat? We're in combat, but everybody else is stealth. So. What? I would have liked to. God almighty. Hang on. Hang on, the rest of the group is in stealth still, so let's see if I can get them up here. Just because Eric's stuck. Is this... Okay, I think I can do it from here. I could use the arrow to blast him off, but there's no need to. Hello, you. Do you say, hello, you, or I love you? It must have been hello you. He had disadvantage against the target. That's a shame. So he is hidden. But the range is a problem. Well I can maybe get him to climb up here, could I? He's joined the battle because he's been spotted. So if I do come up and if I can I hide him? No, he's instantly spotted now. That's that's a shame. Yeah, because, well, he still gets a critical hit out of it, which is very nice. Let's just move out the way. Oh, let's make sure Shadow Heart's coming up as well. So she's joined the battle. Excellent. So it's it's gone as it should do. You just come down here and end your turn. Was that thing surprised? Is that why we've got another go here? Nope, it's because I haven't finished moving. Oh, you get an extra shot. That was no great surprise there. I mean, that is one hell of a jump, isn't it? It's laying into the mushroom guy. The mushroom dude is nearly dead. Well, crap. Uh, this is a Starion, so let's bring him in. I don't think this guy's going to survive much longer. Sneak attack now starting to do some decent damage. Protect the mushroom friend. We will. We will protect him. Uh, that thing, that mushroom can heal as well, so we're going to use some of that. Uh, he's done. Who are we on now? We're on the mushroom, dude. This animating spores. This is a multi-attack. Oh, wait. Hang on. He can't heal. He can fist. I wonder if I could resurrect one of these. Anyway, let's multi-attack it because this looks fun. The target must be prone. Really? Aim at multiple, aim multiple attacks at a prone target. So someone else needs to knock this thing down. Well, we have a guy who's capable of that. Shove. Too, it's too heavy to shove. Oh, I'd need to trip him then, wouldn't I? So let's go back to Mr. Mushroom over here. He's going to fist him. And he has disadvantage. What does this guy actually do? Let's end this. 
The answer seems to be not very much. Have to keep going. Is it worth dazing? No, he's going to be dead. I won't waste the ensnare. Missed. Uh, this suddenly isn't looking all that reliable here. Let's go. I've got an 80% chance of hitting this. Do I use... No, let's just hit him. 14. As long as this hits, I'm good. Good. We're good. <laughs> right. Save it again. Because we now know where Philo Pastry Face, or whatever he's called, is. Oh, if I picked up one of those blooms and threw it at that guy. Or what if I could sneak a star in up there and um, like put it in his backpack if I pick pockets so he couldn't cast spells. Do you think that's even possible? I don't want to be caught with it. If I'm caught with it, I'm knackered. The gods are watching me. Right, if we go up here and get all the height advantage, we're good, right? What have we got? We've got a thing down there which looks like... It, uh, I could so want to push that off. I see, I see. It would be a mighty leap indeed. And we would look very vulnerable if we got pushed off this. Right, let's see if this works. Whee! That commences battle. Um, the Hook, Horror, and Philro the Forgotten. I don't really want to mix with either of them. Can I not change? I can. Oh, I can do a piercing shot. Apparently not. I've used all my actions in that, but I haven't. But I can't change weapons. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Let's get the right character on. Uh, not everyone is in combat either, which is interesting. I was trying to combat. Right, you know that you can go into combat here, so... Let's go for a sneak ranged attack. That was a seriously good hit. And hide. That was really good. Also Gale, who's stood at the back. And he's not currently in combat. I mean, I am slightly tempted to fireball the whole area. Save failed. Nice. Looking much better now. Much better. Is that one? That one is in combat, so that one could try and jump up at us. I don't think I'll get lucky with this, but not enough movement. Really? So if I went here... Yeah, there was enough movement. One hit point. I left on one hit point. I torched the anti-magic flower. That's curious. I didn't think it would affect the flower. I thought it only affected spells coming in. Huh. Watch it. Watch him cast a thunder attack on here and push us all off this to our deaths. Oh, I need to heal the... Um, I need to heal the dude. Should I do the bonus one? Not enough movement. Have I left him down below somewhere? You've been and can't move again. He's going to... Right, that might be bad. My love. I think we saved against all that. He's misty stepping in. This guy means business. Oof. Bleeding, hack, chop. That was lucky. We're attracting too much attention. That was lucky. That could have been really bad. 
She's going to be fine, though. Oh, that feels like such a waste. Perhaps not, though. Have I lost an action? I can't do that again. Threatened? Oh, because it's the end of the turn, is that right? I'm going to try a pommel strike for the bonus attack. I only have to hit it. Right, it's dead. That's good. Who are we on? We're on Gale. Chatterheart's up and ready to go. Uh, should we just blast him? He goes next. I'm going to save this here. See if I've got anything that can blast him off. I am going to do it. I don't think I have, though, which is the problem. And I'm pretty sure he'll save. He doesn't have great wisdom. Hold person is a wisdom spell. Okay. Let me go for the scroll. Screw you! Okay, I'm, I'm going to sell all my uh, hold person scrolls and never use the spell ever again. I've never managed to land that. So now he comes running in and casts thunder on all of us, right? So I'm back in the hell off. Uh, oh, she gets to go first. Well, that's pretty good. Where's the mushroom guy? Did I leave him? I must have left him behind somewhere. He's over here. He's not currently in combat. I don't think I want him currently in combat either. Ready. You mean you can't reach the destination? Is it because of this thing? Hmm. I could jump in. What scrolls have you got? What are the chances of him saving twice on wisdom? That is a wisdom save. That would be nice. Oh, this is the one that... Is the thing on the floor. Right, let me try this again. Because remember this didn't work before. So if I cast, say, uh, cast this. So on you. And on you. And there should be a green tick that allows me to cast this without selecting the full six targets and it's not there so this must be a bug because there should be something in the interface now and point it out if you guys can see it there should be something that allows me to cast this without selecting the rest of the targets he's been hypnotized that's not great oh and he's has he been hypnotized crap he has So I need someone to help him. Right. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work at all. Uh, go and help. This is, this is a full action. That's fine. I would like a Starion backup. Don't care so much about him. And healing. Spiritual weapon. The spear. There. Right, that might cause him some grief. Does Astarian now get to go? He does. Uh, you should probably... I, th I think... It's a shame I can't get past this fat thing. I need someone strong to throw that out the way. What I might do is... A shame I can't do a bonus action jump. I do have the ability to do this. I wanted to come and bite him, really, but... It's, it's always just a few hit points. Um, move out the way. I, I think something's going to go badly wrong here. And Shadowheart can't do anything else, so... Mirror image. Mirror image is okay. Right, who are we on? I kind of... I mean, I've got one option is to jump over this. Is it a bonus action? 
It's a bonus action. Up. Right, and all we need to do is just swing wildly at him. Right, he's dead. And we can get his stuff, so that's awesome. Can I throw this? <laughs> oh, no, I can't. So the only way is to go over that thing. In that case, then, we shoot the guy on the ground. And we can't see him anywhere. And there's nothing I can do. Because this blocks the entire branch and I can't move it. I can't lever it off. I guess I could... I can't even jump back off it. Can't throw it. I can't range attack. Let's just end the turn there. So the Quasit is going to go invisible. And move the hell out of the way. Oh, she's still bleeding? Oh, that's, that's not good. Hit the thing again. Right, do you think... Oh, it's knocked out. Wait a minute. No, I don't have that. I thought it was dead. Now now we can walk past. Oh, my God. I, I didn't notice it was just knocked out. Thanks, uh, Durandum. Thanks for noticing that. I didn't see. Check the spell bar. You can see selections there when spelling. The divider bars can be moved left, right, like in a spreadsheet. They can, but there's that scroll thing. It's supposed to come up with a green tick that you can click on, and I, I can't... It didn't work. I had space there for it to appear, um, and I can't understand why it wouldn't... It, it could have been in there, I guess, but... Hmm, it's, it's annoying that you can actually hide things with this. I need to try and tidy this up a little bit, I think. Can we start now? Because there's a spare slot there. Can we have an extra? I think we're going to need the extras, aren't we? And when they start to fill up, we can see where things are a bit better. Could be there. I'll try it, I'll try it again when the time comes around. Do I have anything else I can do? I don't. So in turn. Uh, you should be able to hide. And you should be able to sneak attack it from here. Those are very nice damages. Uh, you want to just come where you can shoot it, actually. We're trying not to burn through spell slots, which might be a mistake. You can do absolutely nothing, but you could, I guess, try and move down. It's going to have a long way to come around there. I'm saving that look of the Far Realms. I'll need it on a big melee hit against something at some point. Uh, you kind of need to... ...save yourself a little bit. But I mean, so far this looks good, so... Saving! With their wisdom, and they... they they get such spawny saves, these things. I will have to cast a Light Wounds, I think, on her afterwards. Oh, I should have done that first. Dead. Excellent. Right, party up. What's on that thing? Let's arrive at the, uh, the Wizard's Lair. Is our mushroom dude coming? He's supposed to be. We do need a save. Uh, a heal, I mean. Come on, my guy. Come on. I'm done. Examine. Well, he's got some decent strength and constitution, this guy, but... Uh, he's not that great. I wonder if we keep him and he survives if we get something good as a result. Can we not lock to the... Can we not group up toggle group mode? 
Oh, he's coming now. That's good. Right, I am going to cast. This is up to six allies. That's a waste. We're just going to go a cure wounds on, on her. Oh, actually, she could do with some more of these. Yeah, this doesn't cut it anymore, does it? This guy can have the other two. I could do it as a second spell slot, but... I could also use the Paladin to heal as well. He's got uh, Lay on Hands. 20 healing. Um, 32 of 44. No, that would be a bit much, wouldn't it? 10 healing. I often forget to use these. Right, we may as well use another 10 charge as well. On her. Right, nice. People are looking healthier. Still got all my short rests. Uh, we're still good. Still breathing. Despite right, save, because there might be a trap in here. Oh, don't mind if I do. We'll take his dinner. Actually, where is the dead dude? Because we blatted him here. Oh, he's here. If not over. And let's go talk to the dead as well. No rest for the wicked, I see. On it. This is the final part of the, uh, the weapon puzzle, I think. You killed my beloved. Away. What did we kill? You're confused. I would never harm something as beautiful as your beloved. Do we really have to do this? Oh my god, this is never going to work. <laughs> well, it's not going to work on that one. Oh, well, okay, so that would have been the final part of the puzzle. Let's hope he's got something written down in his diary over there. Scroll of sleep. A quarter staff. A simple robe. Right, we're hoping that's in that. And an icy crystal. Protector, guardian of the forge from magma rose, only in magma destroyed. That sounds a lot like... Um, the dude in Molten Core. What was he called? What was he called? The big fiery dude. Where? A small back is drawn underneath, marked by numerous X's. The following words. A scratch beneath it. Dawn knows. From Magma Rose, only in Magma Destroyed. So, I think that means the Guardian. We push him into Magma, or we pour Magma onto him. We'll have to see what this place looks like. It's weak to this hot hammer. It's weak to what? Oh, we've got inspiration. Oh, now we can re-roll. A little bit late, I would say. <laughs> My usual roll. The one. The good old one. Yeah. Well, when we meet whatever it is, we'll just have to figure it out ourselves. The old-fashioned way. Might be useful. Taking his fish out of spite. Okay, let's come down. I think that needs a looting. There's a rib cage down here, I didn't even notice. Well, we dealt with them far better than I really expected to. In, no, I don't want intestines, but I will take the pork loin. Thank you very much. We better have a save as well. So we'll have a wee wander about here, and then get back to what we were looking for. 
trying to find our way over to rescue this lost guy in the mushroom field. If by memory serves, back in early access, he'd wandered into an explosive mushroom field or something. But I mean, it was a while ago since I played that. We're talking three years. So if that is still the case, I'll be, I'll be well impressed if I remember that correctly. So we're overlooking the beach from here. But we haven't been across this bit, so let's have a little wander. Kind of like just exploring the map. Right, so we have got to here. Let's take a look at where we are. So that's cleaned out quite nicely. The arcane tower, I think, is finished. I think we did everything we could around there. I haven't left any markers on the map, so that's a good sign. There's no obvious ways. There's a bit here which might have something we haven't explored. And there's a finish the masterwork weapon. Why is that right there? Oh, I don't think we're quite ready for that bit yet. Show the dead Durgar to Glut. Here. It can't be here. Okay, let's go to the beach. He wants to see the dead dudes down here, right? There's a pile of them right here. The fanfare is sung. The rot is cleansed. Come, we 